Hey boys and girls, welcome back. I hope you guys learned a lot from Ranger Will, although I really doubt it. Hey, speaking of animals, I have one right here. This guy, he's a beauty, he really is. Uh, but it led me to a question. How many animals do you think there are in the world? No, tell me, Just tell me the answer, go. Okay, um, who said two? Did you, say, raise your hand if you said two. That there's not two animals in the world, there's probably too many to count, all right? But you know what? No matter how many animals there are in this world, I knew that there was one thing in particular that connected all of them together. I mean, no matter how big, how small, how wide, how short the animal was, there was one thing that connected all of them. It's that they all come from the same creator, God. God created every animal in the world. I mean, all of them. But then I thought, gosh, animals are pretty cool. I mean, animals are amazing, hey buddy. All right, calm down. And they are. As a matter of fact, take a look at these bees that can play soccer. Yeah, they can play soccer. This reminded me of something very, very special. And when I say special, I mean you and me. Not just that God created us, because God did create us, but something even bigger than that. You and I are from the same family. Oh, that's right. We're brothers and sisters. You you don't understand? Okay, let me explain. So when God first created us, he had one purpose in mind. He wanted us to love him and love others. But there is one thing, and there was something that just kept getting in the middle of that, and it was our sins. Our sins caused us not to live the life that God intended us to live. We were not able to love him and love others because we instead choose to lie, cheat during a game, or even disobey mom and dad. God said the only way to take care of the sins that you and I committed was through sacrifice. God knew that there had to be something that died in order to pay for the sins that we committed. Well, back in the day, they would actually sacrifice animals to take the place of their sins that they would commit. Could you imagine? Animals. I mean, animals are so cute. And for some of us, I mean, animals are a big part of our family. Could you imagine having to sacrifice an animal that you've had for almost all of your life? But God knew one thing, that his love was great. He found a new way to pay for our sins. He sent his one and only son, Jesus, to pay for our sins. And listen to this, Jesus never sinned. I mean, never sinned, yet, his blood was shed on the cross so that you and I could be saved and our sins could be paid for. What an amazing gift that God gives to us. You might be thinking, Mr. Isaiah, so what does this all have to do with us being a part of the same family? And how is the person sitting next to me my brother or sister? I'm glad you asked. Number one, when we confess with our mouth and believe in our hearts that Jesus died for our sins, we are saved. Yeah saved. And number two, when we are saved, we are automatically accepted into the family of God himself. It's through the blood of Jesus that we are all one. Our Bible table verse, Romans 12, 5, tells us, so it is with Christ's body. We are many parts of one body and we all belong to each other. So if you have accepted Jesus into your life and have made him king over your heart, know that you're not alone. You have a brother or sister sitting next to you during class, or playing with you at the park, or even attending church with you right now. Pretty crazy, huh? I mean, in a matter of moments, your family just got really, really big. And with knowing this, we can now turn to our brothers and sisters in Christ and learn how we can love God and love others as best as we can. Why? Because we belong together which leads us to our big idea. So I need everyone up on your feet. Stand on up, look, we're sitting down. So I need you to stand, I need you to stand. Okay, there we go, standing on up. Thank you, appreciate it. So let's go over it together at the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. We belong together. This is, this is Sunny, uh, she is a little nervous and she's a guinea pig as well. I'm gonna go ahead and hang out with her. While I do that, you get ready with your friends and group leaders and talk about what you learned today here on our ZTV. Stand on up, grab your Bibles and get ready, get set, group. <laughs>